video, we're gonna be starting the Christmas season early with a brand new Lego set that has just come out. Super exciting. It's the Lego Ideas Home Alone set. It's my birthday. Yes, Brandon is turning 12. Today. 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 Maybe not when this video is posted. November 11th. This is one of Brandon's favorite movies of like all time. And he just really likes it. And when I first saw this out, I'm like, we're getting that for him for his birthday. Like, that's what we're doing for him. Until we got a magazine in the mail. And I tried to keep, he didn't know about it for like a month. And I tried to keep it a secret until he got like a Lego magazine in the mail and it showed it on the back. Oh, Lego. Pain. So that didn't happen. Pain. So I'm super excited about this set. So we're going to start building it. We're not going to look at the back and I'm going to tell you everything about um what all the features it has at the end of the video. No. Let's take a closer look. Pain. This set is recommended for ages 18 and up. None of us are that age, but I don't care. The number is 21330 and it has 3,955 pieces. This set comes with Kevin McAllister's mom, Kevin McAllister, Harry, Marv, and the creepy dude with the shovel. Now let's check the back. All right, now we're gonna get this open, but before we do that, YouTube has told us that only 13% of our viewers are actually subscribed. So come on, don't be that 87% that are not subscribed. Come on, just hit it right now. All you gotta do is scroll down two inches below that. There should be this red button and it says subscribe. If you click that, it should turn gray and say subscribe. If it's gray, don't click it. Don't click it. But if it's red, please, please support us by clicking it. And also, hit that like button down below so it tells YouTube that you really like this content. And also, ring the little bell so that you can never miss any awesome content from our YouTube channel. Okay, now let's get this open. Okay. No! Wait. Boxes. It's a box. It's a box. Oh, we just made a baby! <laughs> 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 This set comes with 24 bags and some with extra numbered bags. A really cool instruction book with the battle plans that Kevin McAllister makes and some stickers. And we get to see kind of what's inside. You can pause it if you want to. I think it's just going through different scenes. And then this is probably the creator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're the creators, so probably. And then. And then we get to here. Okay, and now we're ready to build. I just finished this awesome Lego set, so now I'm going to be talking to you about everything that's in it. 
Let's start with the minifigures. I actually don't know his name. He's, he's in the film. He's like the guy with the shovel. And then this is Kevin's mom, and this is Kevin. This is um Harry and um Marv, aka the Wet Bandits. So this is the OK plumbing and heating truck that Harry and Marv drive in. It's supposed to be like the main thing. It's like one of the most iconic things from the movie. You can open up the top. Well, I actually kick these out. This was inside the truck. It looks like they stole a um, golden sink, which I don't know someone who would do that. They also stole a trophy, and it comes with their crowbars. And um, what's funny is that it actually comes with a police hat because at the beginning of the movie, he like pretends like he's a police officer. He tries to get all the information about the house. So that's why it comes with this police hat. And yeah, you can put them inside of the truck. There we go. Finally, let's start at the front of the house. What's really cool is that the doorknob is actually red. Here it comes up, but like the steps are slippery, so it keeps on like falling back down. But then finally, when he gets up here, the doorknob's like super hot. So when he like touches it, it, it burns his hand. And then when you put it in the snow, what's actually really funny is that um, his hand has an M on it. First, let's open up the bottom level. So what's really cool is that over here, there's a knob, and when you twist it, the train moved, because in the movie, it made it look like that there's people inside of it and it's moving. And over here, he put like a statue on a record player to make it look like that there's actually people inside of the house. Actually, I just realized something. I can just take this off. Right over here, there's a Christmas tree, and right there, there's a Lego set and some toy cars and a present. And then on the Christmas tree, it actually has like the two doves from Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. And over here, it's that's um, Kevin's mac and cheese bowl, because right after he was done like setting all the traps, he actually sat down and had it having some mac and cheese. And he has some ice cream. And this is a roof to this little area. Little Nero's Pizza and a microwave, a TV. I don't really know about much about this, but it has the best scene in the movie. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Then there's the dog door, and they made a whole entire new mold for the door. It has a doggy door, and has like the most iconic scene ever. When he's right here, pops the doggy door. It comes with a torch when um Harry just like opens the door and then stays there for about like seven seconds and then comes out. Then here are the stairs and what's really cool is that there's this lever not thing. I was about to say this. Kevin's sled. And if you watch the movie, you'll probably know a ton about this. Because I'm a huge fan of the movie. If you put it right here, if you can somehow put it right here. There we go. And if you open the door, there's a scene where he like goes down the slide. What's actually supposed to happen is that he gets on the slide and he starts riding down the stairs. Sorry, we're having some technical difficulties. Oh, okay. <laughs> now let's move to the next floor. Yeah. Let's start with um, Buzz's room. So what's cool is that like back here, there's a lever. First of all, there's Buzz's wa wallet and there's also firecrackers. When he was trying to climb on the shelf, it's like really, really wobbly. It falls, uh-oh. And on his door, it says for some reason, keep out, because he's a crazy dude. Over here, there is um, Buzz's spider. And it's supposed to be on the stairs because there's one scene, he's like, trying to run up and then he like jumps, grabs his foot and then grabs the spider and puts it on his face. And he screams so loud and then he, got, he gets to run upstairs. And um, right here is, there's like a picture of Kevin. I don't know who that is. I think that's Kevin's dad. That's Kevin's mom and I think that's supposed to be Buzz. And so if we remove this and just put him for now. I put this back on. Then there's the heavy can. 
So you can just, um, yeah. Oof! Now he's dead. Well, he's not dead. There's the bathroom. In the bathroom, there's this iconic scene where he puts on aftershave, puts it on his cheeks, and it stings him. So then he starts screaming in the bathroom. And, and what's funny is that there's the toothbrush that he accidentally stole from the store. He said in the roof, you can open it up. I think this is supposed to be Kevin's room. And it comes with a gumball machine, a spider web, a, a light, and, and uh, it's supposed to be the battle plan. I'll show a picture of it. Nice. So this is a mini, little mini. This is this Kevin Ghost room. And over here, there's the back windows. And what's cool is that this is the scene we're trying to get away. So he gets on like this crazy zip line. We, oof. And what's funny, it comes with the scissors that he uses to cut it because the, the guys were like trying to, were like climbing on it. So he cuts. He cuts it and then they all fall and then they hit the wall and then, yeah. And the last thing is this, which is, if you take that off, there's the door. And if you go inside, I can actually take this off. So there's the furnace that like Kevin got like really, really scared of. <sighs> and there's a light brick in it. There's supposed to be a tar sock. Cause there's this one scene, well because Legos can't like go underground. This uh, this is actually supposed to be normal level and then there's stairs that go down. So it's these stairs that lead back up to the house. There's tar on it. He had to take off his socks and like it was like really, really sticky. And then there was a nail. And then there's like a washing machine. Um, I'm not sure what that is, a juice box? Or it's... God, power wash dish fridge. <laughs> and if you put him right here, Put this back on. You might see this little thing. There is an iron that is on. So if you pull this lever, oh, there's critical damage. Ah! And you can also switch his head um, to make it look like an iron hit his head. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.